everybody! Welcome to Rachel's room, where every other Thursday I answer your questions. This looks a little bit better than the last Rachel's room, right? I got a couch in my office and I'm attempting to decorate. I'm Hopefully next time it's decorated, but I got the couch in this time. Enough of that, let's get to your questions. When you're in hotels, do you sleep on the side of the bed near the nightstand or the wall? I feel like everyone has a preference as to which side of the bed they wanna sleep on. And it's usually the side not against the wall. Cause the wall, I just feel like it's too much. It's right there and I don't like it. But the thing I stress out about the most is when I walk into a hotel room and there's two beds, there's like a queen and another queen. When I can't figure out which bed I wanna take, it stresses me out. Usually there's two beds in a room, I'm sharing it with someone. And I usually just kinda let them pick and then I take the other. But if I'm in a room by myself and I get to choose between the beds, it stresses me out because I feel like I need to have a preference. And sometimes I just don't. I just needed to tell people I stress out about that decision. So if I'm by myself, I just want one bed in that room. I don't want to have to deal with the stress of deciding between the two beds. Or if I'm in a room with someone and they were like, okay, you choose which bed you want. Nope. That's not gonna end well. I'm gonna have an emotional breakdown within myself and not let you know about it because why should I stress about something so minuscule? Ask Siri, do you follow the three laws of robotics? Time for Ask Siri. Siri, do you follow the three laws of robotics? Something about obeying people and not hurting them. I so would never hurt anyone. <laughs> Something about obeying people and not hurting them. I would never hurt anyone. Except she hurt my soul. What are the three laws of robotics? Something about obeying people and not hurting them. She's annoying. I want to know what the three laws of robotics are. A robot may not injure a human being. A robot must obey orders given by a human being, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. A robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. Really? We have laws for robots? Why do we have laws for robots? They just do what you program them to do. Except Siri. Siri's a freaking idiot and won't do what she's told to do. Siri doesn't follow the laws of robotics. Siri doesn't respond or obey orders like we want her to. Siri's breaking the law. What's the point of having laws if we're just gonna break them? Next question. Please explain who is Attic Man. And then it is a screenshot of my tweet that I wrote back in 2012. And it says, I blame my lack of sleep last night on Attic Man. He was rudely making a lot of noise in the middle of the night. I used to have a man living in my attic. <laughs> I mean, it was never proven or disproven. In college, I shared an apartment with two other girls and then both of them moved out second semester. And so I ended up having the apartment to myself. It was my first time ever living alone. And of course, I started hearing things. But there were noises before they moved out, okay. So they were living there and we always heard noises in the attic, but we were never really scared. And we were just like, ah, whatever. And we were like, ah, it's attic, man, you know, blah, blah. And then once they moved out, I heard things even more, and I was 110% in belief that there was an attic man. And my friends heard it too. Like, they genuinely heard it. They'd be over, and it sounded like someone was walking in the ceiling, and they're like, what is that? I'm like, it's attic man. He never hurt me. He just lived in the attic. Like, it genuinely sounded like there was a person in the attic. And sometimes, like, when I was living alone, I'd, be, I'd hear him, I'd be like, dude, I'm not in the mood. Don't bug me right now. But yeah. I had a man living in my attic. You can't prove or disprove this theory. It's like Schrodinger's cat. And apparently one night he kept me up and I tweeted about it back when I barely used Twitter. If you could only eat food beginning with one letter for the rest of your life, what would it be? Now, can I use like an adjective as part of the food? Like, can I say B? So I could just eat barbecued food, like barbecued burgers. Well, I could just eat burgers. <laughs> barbecued hot dogs, barbecued chicken, barbecued veggies. I need to know, you see, the thing is why I don't like these things, I think I've explained this before, is I have so many questions. Like when you're like, if you had to do this, like the hypothetical things stress me out because I need more rules. I'm a person that really likes rules, so you gotta put down all the rules. Or do I have to be like beef, banana, burger, bacon? Seems like a good diet. <laughs> if I'm allowed to do the barbecue thing, that's amazing. But there's burgers, bananas, bacon, blueberries, blackberries. This video has just turned into me naming foods that start with a B. <laughs> now you have a new apartment. Are you finally gonna use bath bombs? I don't know. I think I want to. I think I wanna try a bath. I haven't had a bath in a very long time. Part of that is because I never had a tub fitting for a bath. But now my tubs are actually bigger than my last place and a lot cleaner. So I might attempt a bath. Oh God. If I, if 
If I did do a bath though, I'd go all out. I'd get a bath bomb, I'd get a rubber ducky, and I'd probably get a book and a, a glass of champagne, cause why not? That's yeah, I think I'm gonna have a bubble bath tonight. I'm gonna treat myself to a bubble bath with a bath bomb and a bathtub. Thanks for the idea. How old are you and why? I'm 25 and that's because I was born 25 years ago. Have you watched the Rainbow Sponge Lady? And if not, will you react to it in your next Rachel's Room? I have not seen the Rainbow Sponge Lady and I'm excited to watch it. So let's watch the Rainbow Sponge Lady together, shall we? Start you asked for it. A whole video devoted to the Rainbow Sponge. Yes! The Army Arts and Crafts Department sent me to Korea. Now, <gasps> Korea. Not a sponge. This is so dense. <gasps> this lady is everything I've ever wanted to be in my entire life. You asked for it. She's given it to you and she's excited. She's who I am in, I don't want to offend her, mm, 40, 50 years? Do you see the background of her video? It's a million times better than I could ever achieve. And she has so many supplies set up. I'm loving her necklace. I'm living for her bangs. I love this woman and I don't even know her. I squeezed and squeezed oh, and she squeezed. squeezed and squeezed. Oh, she squeezed. No flab on this arm. Oh. My cleaning flab on this arm. Now, gloves are incredible. I have a pure. Gloves are incredible. <laughs> she hasn't said a false fact. Well, a fact as false wouldn't be a fact, it'd be a lie. She hasn't said any falsities yet. Oops, a virgin edge. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, I am sorry. Oh, oh, I want you to look at all of those wiggles. I will look at those wiggles. Oh my gosh, wiggles. Oh my gosh. I love to wiggle the whole thing. There are many other surfaces that you can sponge on. I'm there are so look. many surfaces you can sponge stick. on. Are they incredible? They are amazing. <gasps> okay, calm down, Dee. No, you don't have to calm down, Dee. Do you see that? I see it. <sighs> breathing heavy. <sighs> She's breathing <sighs> heavy. I am in love with that lady because she is me when I'm older. I'm obsessed with her and now I'm obsessed with sponging. That might have been the best video I've ever watched in my entire life. God, I wish that was my grandma. I truly do. Can this be the part where you throw slash place your phone behind you? Yes, it can. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Please comment below and leave your questions for next Rachel's Room, or you can tweet me or Instagram me your questions using the hashtag Rachel's Room. Please like this video if you liked it. Go over to that sponge lady and like her video too, because that thing was great. I kind of want to do a sponge video now. Subscribe if you want to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. But remember, above all else, stay awesome, possums. Awesome.